Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In your reincarnation, let's do a beginner's guide to weapons. This is specifically aimed at folks picking up the game during the last three months of service who want to see as much story as possible. I previously made a video on memoirs, link below, but whereas there, I'm confident that that info will get you through all of the PvE in the game, minus subjugations. The info I give here on weapons, I am less so. I am confident that this info will get you through the main story, and uh, kind of the permanent quests like dungeons and dark memory quests, but I can't say how far it will get you through like the higher difficulty stuff like tower or fate boards. So keep that in mind as you go through the game. If you need to be stronger, upgrade your weapons beyond what I advise here. All right, during this video, I'll talk about a number of topics. First, the best weapons in the game. Uh, next, notable three-star weapons. After that, I'll talk about my thoughts on various handout weapons and how appropriate they would be for new players. Uh, next, how to use uh, the materials, you know, what level should we take our weapons? And then finally, I'll talk about two-star weapons. All right, but the best weapons in the game, they can all be um, filtered out, actually. But we want one thing, that is haste. So we'll pick the haste there, and then the elemental hastes down here. And these are the best weapons in the game. <laughs> but I talked about this in talking about the uh, the Blighted Flowers memoir set. Uh, but cooldown haste will make it so that your weapon skills charge more quickly. Uh, you'll get out more uh, attacks, fill your character skill gauge more quickly. Uh, for healing, you'll get out more healing. So yeah, you can do everything faster and better with haste. And so yeah, if you pull any of these uh, weapons through the uh, the hatcher, that would be worth leveling up. Some of these are handout weapons, like this uh, Anniversary Fist. The, uh, the handout and then like the lower rarity ones will have a uh, less amount of haste to give you, uh, but still worth leveling and using, I think. And then uh, there are two types of haste. There's just uh, the general kind and then the elemental kind. Uh, the general kind is found on these dark memory weapons. These are one of the handout. And uh, we get these by using the, um, or first by beating the hard versions of the story quests and then giving them Lavender Cubes, the Zenith Brilliance, to level them up. And yeah, if you're ever uh, wondering, you know, what weapons to put the materials in, I would say the first priority would be uh, these weapons with haste. All right, next let's talk about notable uh, three-star weapons. And uh, the first picks there are going to be the ones with haste that we see. All of these weapons down here with a lock on them are uh, three-stars. Um, so yeah, we can use those... There's a couple more up here for some reason. After a certain point with Near Reincarnation, late last year, uh, they stopped um, kind of updating the uh, the order of weapons and costumes added, so now they're kind of appearing in weird places. <laughs> uh, but besides uh, three-star weapons with haste, uh, there are also ones with, like, uh, party heals. Like... Um, Like uh, this great sword, for example. This just comes out of the hatcher. As we can see, I have uh, two of them leveled up. Um, otherwise, uh, this wind staff, excellent three wing staff. We can see there the uh, healing for the party. And I have two versions of those as well. Uh, there are lots of weapons with the single uh, member heal, like a self heal. Uh, but there's only very few that have a uh, party heal that are three star. And then, besides them, uh, there are um, weapons with burn or poison. These will do set damage. They just, you know, blow through all defenses or whatever. That can really help you with uh, higher difficulty PvE, like tower or fate boards, where you can just build a team that's, like, super tanky and has some healing, where you can outpace the, uh, the damage output of the, uh, the enemies or the boss, and then just uh, do that set damage, that percent damage to the boss, little by little over time. Um, a lot of water weapons, they will have a poison. I think this one had it. No. Which one had it? There we go. So here this has a poison on it that can slowly drain your opponent. And then a lot of the uh, fire weapons have burn on them. So like here, burn. 
has a, a faster rate of doing the uh, percent damage. And then there's one uh, dark element weapon which has poison. And uh, I highly recommend that you seek that out and then uh, level that up. Yeah, there it is, the Serene Handgun. Uh, sooner or later to Near Reincarnation, they will add a thing where we can exchange for any of the old uh, handout stuff. This is a handout gun. This would be one of the very first ones that I would recommend uh, picking up. And then, um, less needed in the near future, uh, but if you get to very far in, like, say, Tower or the Fate Boards, then uh, weapons with an attack break would be good. I don't know if any of these ones have it. Uh, it's called a Ripper skill. I'm not going to look for it now, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering which four-star weapons to work on, uh, in addition to the ones with haste, uh, any of them with the uh, the same characteristics as the three-star weapons uh, would be good picks, uh, like heals for the party, uh, burn and poison. Again, lots of fire or uh, water weapons have those. Uh, but I would uh, recommend the Dark Memory uh, weapons. Akiha's greatsword, fire greatsword with the burn, or Argo's water spear for the poison. It's kind of a big ask to uh, use the uh, the Zenith Brilliance to take them all the way to the uh, final stage 11. Uh, but they both have uh, stories that are very worth the investment, so you can feel good about getting those. And then as you go higher up the, uh, the towers or the fate boards, then attack break, uh, Ripper, is going to become uh, more important. Okay, next, let's talk about all of the uh, types of handout weapons. There are dark memory weapons, black horn weapons, dust weapons, and then recollections of dusk weapons. There's a lot of them. <laughs> but I think for new players that are just starting within the, uh, the final three months, I think dark memory is the only one that you really need to worry about. Uh, but it's the ones here that have that additional uh, purple icon on the left. Uh, so that's not showing up here. Uh, but yeah, if I move this up, we can see along the top row and then all of the uh, the second row, all of these weapons have that purple kind of a cube icon there. These are the handout weapons that I think new players should focus on. Uh, for one thing, they have the haste, which I just talked about. And then uh, within all of these weapons, um, I would most recommend uh, this. This is the healing staff from F66X. This has a heal for the party. I use this all the time. I've been using it for three years now. And then there is the new uh, short sword from 10H. Which one is that? Uh, is this one out of order too? Hang on, let me find this. <laughs> There it is, okay, yeah, out of order. Uh, but this also has a party heal. This is only the second Blackhorn weapon with a uh, party heal. It's taken them almost three years to release another, but yeah, I can also recommend this one. Also a great uh, story, uh, the Dark Memory story. Uh, but yeah, after you level those two Dark Memory weapons, then you can go to any of these and then uh, unlock the stories that you want to read. Uh, but yeah, Blackhorn weapons, you have to get those uh, by doing the Subjugations, which has pretty much zero, like, story content to it. And then the uh, the Dust weapons, which we exchange Arena coins for, I think that's this one. Also, almost no story connected to Arena. And then the Recollections of Dusk weapons. Uh, if you are diligent in playing and uh, you collect, you know, enough weapons and uh, costumes of each element, in order to unlock these, then you will get them. Uh, but you have to go deeper into uh, the Recollections of Dusk stories to really max these weapons out. At this stage, we're not really playing Recollections of Dusk for the uh, the unlockable costumes or weapons. We're doing it for the stories, so... Yeah, I would just go through that kind of first uh, level, get the base weapon, uh, read the story, and call it a day. Later, I'll make a video maybe kind of more focused on uh, game modes or Recollections of Dusk. All right, and then finally, we can talk about what level is good. Again, I'm just uh, basing this off of um, people that are wanting to see all of the main story, maybe beat the, uh, the dungeons and uh, dark memory quests. 
but I think level 70 is going to be fine. That is if it is not uh, ascended at all with copies or these um, black pearls here. And then if we take the, uh, the weapon to level 70, we can take our skills to level 11, and that's going to be fine as well. And then I guess I can talk about um, different materials, other things that we can do to the weapons. Uh, here we can collect these uh, adamants to raise another 10 levels. This is not going to be necessary, I think, for uh, seeing all the main story. And then uh, here, for ascensions, we can either fuse, you know, copies of the weapon, or we can put in these rare uh, black pearls. I think you can go through all of the main story without using a single black pearl. I haven't tested this myself, but yeah, I think now with all of the other systems that we have, especially slabs, uh, we can um, make our teams and characters stronger without the need for strong weapons or black pearls. Uh, but yeah, if you did have some black pearls lying around, maybe use them on the, uh, the weapons with haste on them. And then, let's see here. To take skills, ah, perfect. To take skills to level 15, uh, we need it uh, fully ascended. And then we need these guys, Insignia of Quality. I think you can also get through all of the main story without using a single one of these. Uh, you're still going to get them, just, you know, playing through the game regularly. But you don't have to go out of your way to get more, I don't think. Okay. So, final topic will be two-star weapons. And there's just one thing I want to say here. Every combination of element and then um, weapon type has its own unique weapon story. So I recommend uh, even veteran players that have maybe, uh, you know, put this off to uh, go back, level them up a little bit, unlock all of the stories and have a look at them. A lot of them are uh, very interesting. But yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, weapons for uh, players joining the game during these final three months. I hope it makes that less uh, intimidating overall. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.